Dang it. What? All of the day's headlines, the region's most accurate forecast, and much more at a time that works for you. Join your team at 7, weeknights only on WYOU. So one or two storms around this evening, mostly dry, warm and muggy tonight, some fog to start in spots on Tuesday morning. But once we get more of that uh, sunshine out tomorrow afternoon, it's going to heat up close to 90 in spots. There may be another thunderstorm or two later Tuesday, Wednesday, a little bit cooler with the wind off the ocean, still a decent weather day. Then Wednesday night, Thursday, Friday, some tropical moisture gets in here from what's left of Alberta along with the front. So showers, downpours, thunderstorms, and Nick and AJ, there could even be a leftover shower or thunderstorm storm for the weekend, but at this point, at least not a washout for Saturday okay. or Sunday. I need to ask, yes. El Pocono, Friday qualifying, Sunday race. I'm going to say the weather looks good for the race. I think despite that shower chance, I think we'll get the race in Sunday. Qualifying Friday could be challenged. Okay. Better chance for rain Friday. But it's possible. It is possible. Okay. That's all I need to know for now. <laughs> and we got full, some time. Full coverage later on this week. We'll have more. That's right. You want 100,000 people going. One <laughs> exactly. <laughs> have a great night. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you at Lower Local News coming up with Eyewitness News at 7 on WYOU. I'm on that show. I hear it's, <laughs> I hear it's okay. We'll see you there. Check it out. Watch Eyewitness News when it's convenient for you. Now streaming on pahomepage.com. Um, I'm grief stricken. Devastating floodwaters in Maryland and a Memorial Day search for a missing National Guardsman. Also tonight, Alberto makes landfall. Four days before its official start, hurricane season is here. The storm is threatening the Gulf Coast with heavy rain and flooding. The U.S. tries to salvage a summit. American diplomats have taken the rare step of crossing the border to meet with their North Korean counterparts. We'll have the latest on former President George H.W. Bush back in the hospital. France rewards an illegal immigrant for a Spider-Man rescue. Why Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is calling for a new investigation of his father's murder. And a Memorial Day salute to an American hero. He threw himself on top of another Marine to absorb the blast of a grenade. This is the CBS Evening News with Jeff Glor. And good evening. Jeff is off tonight. I'm Bianca Goladriga. Alberto has made landfall on the Gulf Coast. We'll have the latest on the storm in just a moment. But we begin this Memorial Day with a search for a National Guard member and Air Force veteran who went missing last night in the devastating flash flood in Ellicott City, Maryland. The city has barely recovered from a 2016 flood when it was struck again. Jeff Pegues is there. Jeff.